Evolution of Protection Relays The evolution of protective relays begins with the electromechanical relays. Over the past decade, it upgraded from electromechanical to solid state technologies to predominate use of microprocessors and microcontrollers. The electromechanical relay was invented in 1835 by the U.S. scientist Joseph Henry, he known mainly as the inventor of the electromagnetic phenomenon of self-inductance and the mutual inductance. Henry's invention was based on the work of the British electrical engineer, William Sturgeon, who invented the electromagnet in 1825. Samuel Morse later used Henry's relay device to carry Morse code signals over long kilometers of wire, but generally the invention of Henry remained relatively unknown for several decades, but in 1860s, and later on in the end of 19th century, with the development of telegraph and phone communications, it became widespread. Then the telephone companies became a huge consumer of electromechanical relays. In 1925, single disc type electromagnetic relays discovered. In 1940s, these relays became widely used in industries. In 1961, single cup type impedance relays used. In 1963, static type relays discovered. In 1972, static relay with self-checking evolved. In 1980, studies on digital type relays started. In 1990s, digital relays with more functions, that is, numerical relays became prominent. From the beginning of 21st century, intelligent electronic devices, IEDs came into picture as a key component of substation protection, control and automation integration technology. The first generation relays are oldest relaying system and they have been in use for many years. They have earned a well-deserved reputation for accuracy, dependability, and reliability. These are disk type with current setting via plug bridge and time multiplier setting via disk movement. Separate relays requires for achieving each function and characteristics. These are lower cost, easier to test, long lasting, that is less chances of failure. However electromechanical relays occupies more panel space, it will have more mechanical parts. It requires periodical calibration or adjustment and separate relays for achieving each function. Usually, performs only one protective function and has slower operating than microprocessor base. The static relays are second generation relays, was first introduced in 1960s. The term static implies that, the relay has no moving mechanical parts in it. Compared to the electromechanical relay, the solid static relay has longer lifespan, decreased noise when operates and faster response speed. However, it is not as robust as the electromechanical relay. Static relays were manufactured as semiconductor devices which incorporate logic gates, transistors, capacitors, SMPS etc. The static relays have been designed to replace almost all the functions which were being achieved earlier by electromechanical relays. These electronic device has multi-characteristic with fine-tuned settings and integral instantaneous elements. But it do not have self-monitoring capability, that is relay becomes inoperative in case of power supply failure. The modification of second generation relays evolved with single PCB with ICs. In this, cards are used for each function built around a master PCB and there will not be any interconnection wires between them. So, it has less space occupation. The third generation relays are semi-numeric types in which, some functions can be programmed. Around 1980s, the digital relay entered in the market. Compared to the solid state relay, the digital relay takes the advantages of the development of microprocessors and microcontrollers. Instead of using analog signals, the digital relay converts all measured analog quantities into digital signals. Digital protection relays is a revolution step in changing relay technology and it allowed PC interface with limited communication interface. Some functions can be enable, or disable on basis of requirement. By the mid-1990s, the solid state and electromechanical relay had been mostly replaced by digital relay and new construction. The widespread acceptance of digital relay technology by the customer and the experiences of the user helped in developing the numerical relays in 1990s. These semi-numeric relays were mainly designed to meet the static relay protection characteristic, whereas modern numeric protection devices are capable of providing complete protection with added functions like control and monitoring, characteristics and behaviors can be programmed. Numerical protection devices offer several advantages in terms of protection, reliability, and troubleshooting and fault information. 
the distinction between digital and numerical relay rests on points of fine technical detail, and is rarely found in areas other than protection. Typically, they use a specialized digital signal processor, that is DSPs, as the computational hardware, together with the associated software tools. All functions are built around one microchip with multiple characteristics and stages. Current settings in primary or secondary values, additional protection elements and with auto-test features are other features. Some advantages of numerical relays are, 1. Performs hundreds of protective functions. 2. Only one relay needed for all phases. 3. Faster operating than electromechanical. 4. Self-monitoring capability. 5. Takes up less space. 6. Longer maintenance cycle. Some disadvantages are, 1. Higher cost. 2. Single element, that is ICs, resistors, capacitors etc. may cause total failure of relay. 3. Require configuration knowledge for different make and type relays. 4. Complex training for testing. Growing service quality expectations make system automation processes in power utilities and, this trigger the next major step in the evolution of protective relays. To improve, protection, control and monitoring of the power system, new intelligent electronic devices have to be installed in substations, and generating stations. In the electric power industry, an IDE is an integrated microprocessor-based controller of power system equipment such as circuit breakers, transformers and capacitor banks etc. where, many single-function electromechanical relays, control switches, extensive wiring, and much more came into a single box, which handles, additional features like self and external circuit monitoring, real-time synchronization of the event monitoring, local and substation data access, programmable logic controller functionality, and an entire range of software tools for testing, commissioning, event reporting, and fault analysis. IEDs are capable of recording huge amount of data and providing much more information than earlier. The data may be pre-processed and sent to the control center, and on this way, the system can drastically improve efficiency and decision-making capabilities of the utility personnel responsible for analyzing faults, reporting nature of disturbances, repairing damaged equipment and restoring the system with the support of the IEC 61850 standard for power system automation, which provides interoperability and advanced communications capabilities. Now, you can go through all other topics discussed in this channel. Subscribe and click the bell icon to get notification about next subject. Thank you for watching this video.